So this month is a month of acceptance. We came from uh, the month of compassion. We, we saw the compassion of God toward us. Now we, we, we enter the second month, the month of acceptance. God, we accept you. God, we favor you. And God, we bless you. Remember, this month is a reward from God to be accepted. You will be accepted everywhere you go. Let us read in Genesis 29, 33. Genesis 29, 33, the Bible says, Then she conceived again, and they bore a son, and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved, he has therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simeon. Let us read again the second Samuel, the book of Samuel, second book of Samuel, 24, verse 23. All this, O king, Arauna has given to the king, and Arauna said to the king, May the Lord, your God, accept you. Praise the Lord. There is a sad story, but this story, through this story, there came a blessing. It was a story of uh, Leah. Leah was a wife of Jacob. Unfortunately, she was not loved. Jacob loved Rachel, the second wife. He has two wives. He, ha he had two wives. So the first wife, Leah, was not loved. But by God's plan, Rachel was barren. But Leah, God opened her womb every time she was conceived and gave sons. This time we saw we see here uh, Leah God granted her a son and she called the son Simeon which means that God hears God hears our prayer and our cries say that because the Lord has heard that I am unloved. He has therefore given me this son. So when she had Simeon, the heart of Jacob went to Leah. She was accepted. She was loved because of the son God has given her. So I know that through compassion of God, you will be accepted. God, we accept you as you are. Come just before him as you are. He's here to accept you and to bless you. As the Aruna says to the King David, he said that may the Lord your God accept you. Actually, this is our wish this month, that God may accept you. May the Lord accept your ways. May the Lord accept your ministry, your favor, uh, you favor you. May the Lord give you his favor in whatever you will do. The way you will go, wherever you will be, may the favor of God be with you. Acceptance means favored. You will be accepted. You will be favored. Even the people who don't like you, you will be favored with them. This only cannot be done by God. Not everyone can give you this opportunity, this blessing to be loved except God. God can give you a favor before people, before kings, before priests, before even before your enemies. This is the work of God. Praise the Lord. So we will talk on six acceptances called 
acceptable. Top 10. Top 10. Understand? Top 10. Why I called this top 10 is just for you to memorize, to have this without having pen. And I say top 10. You, do you know top 10? What does it mean? Top 10. Among 10. But my theme, my theme, my topic is not to teach about top 10, but it to help you to understand six things that God will accept through you. Number one, T means here time, O, offering, T, uh, P, prayer, T, testimony, E, exaltation, and name. Understand the top ten? What he doesn't mean? Time, O, offering, P, P. Are you following? P, prayer, T, testimony, E, exaltation, N, name. Top. Top 10. Okay, don't cheat. Just in your memory. T means time or offering, P, prayer, testimony, exaltation, name. Praise the Lord. So you will be accepted. God will accept you through this top 10. This month. Use wisely your time because God will accept your time. So, we have acceptable top 10, acceptable time, acceptable offering, acceptable prayer, acceptable testimony, accept, ac acceptable exhortation, acceptable name. Praise the Lord. Let us talk to acceptable time. Remember that this is a season of favor. God wants to favor your life. And this time, God wants to hear your cry and open doors before you. This is a time God is opening a big door before you. I know we come through many things. But there is a door before you. That God is opening because this is a time. This is a season of God to do something in your life. So this is your time. This month of, uh, of uh, uh, February is time for you to have his blessing. To have his favor. Just when you go and pray, say, Lord, this is my month. This is my time. Do something. If you are waiting some promises to come through, this is your time to receive now. This month of February is a month where God wants to do something uh, in your life. Thank you, Lord. Second Corinthians 6, 2, the Bible says, In acceptable time, I have heard you. In acceptable time I have heard you. This is a time to be heard by God. God will hear your cry, your prayer. When you pray, he will hear. Because this is a time of God to accept your petition, to accept your cry. So this time is God's time for you. So you need to take advantage this period, this time, because it's a time when God is favored your life. You are favored before him. You are favored before God. The Bible says, and in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, 
now is the day of salvation, the day of deliverance, the day of operation, miracles and wonders from God. This is a day, this is a time, this is a season of God to do something great in your life. Praise the Lord. Don't just act as someone who doesn't know his season. If it is your season, you need to be well prepared. You need to be well prepared. Your mind, your body, your spirit must be prepared to enter into your destiny. Because this is a time of acceptance. God is favored your life, your prayer, your petition. And he will grant you whatever you ask. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 49, 8, the Bible says, In an acceptable time, I have heard you. In the day of salvation, I have helped you. You will see his help because this is a time of help. I will preserve you and give you as a covenant to the people to restore the earth, to cause them to inherit the desolate heritages. God, we preserve you. God, we have a covenant with you and with people. You made some covenant with people for your promotion, for your well-being. God, we cause people to remember you. God, we cause people to think about you, to love you, to forgive you, to have compassion. Because you are in a season of acceptance. You are in a season where God is accepting you. You are favored with God. So, remember Esther in the Bible. When it was her season, she invited the king to have a breakfast with her, you remember. Because it was her season. He used that opportunity to invite a king, to invite even her enemies, Haman. When it's your time, you need to position yourself. You need to position yourself so at the uh, 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 right moment, you enter into your season. Amen? Amen? You know people who surf in the uh, ocean, there is wave that came. You cannot just uh, go without waves. They wait a season. When the wave come, then they position themselves. When they saw the wave coming, then they go into waters. They surf upon the water because the waves are there. They cannot go without those waves. But they position themselves waiting the wave coming. So there, there is a wave of glory, of a blessing coming. You need to position yourself at a particular time, at the right moment, you will go and surf upon your blessing. Praise the Lord. So this is a time of God to bless us. When the Bible says that acceptable time, it really means that this is, is a year of the Lord to act in our lives. The year of the Lord to act in our activities. Whatever we do, God is acting, is doing. It's not a passive, it's active, doing. God is with us, is doing great things. So this is a year of the Lord to act in our lives. Praise the Lord. According to Luke 4.19, the Bible says, we are here to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This is acceptable year of the Lord. God has accepted this year for you to become a blessing for your life. So you are lucky to be in this year, 2020. So it's acceptable year of God in your life. Don't think about your failures. Think about your success that are coming. Because this is year of God to act. According to Message Bible, 
Luke 4, 19 says, to announce that this, can you read this? Oh, this is God's ear to act. Are you ready to receive his hand? To receive his action? He is here to do something. He's here to act in your life. Praise the Lord. So, the time, acceptable time, means the year of the Lord to act. So, this is the year of God to act in your life. Praise the Lord. So, the time, acceptable time, just means that God is, you will be accepted by him and approved by man. God will give you favor before him and before man. Where you will go, people will open the door. People will say, oh, hello, can we help you? Can we do something for you? For you? Romans 14, 17 to 18. The Bible said that, for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in these things is acceptable to God and approved by man. So God will cause you to do good things. God will help you to do good and great things. So you will be accepted before him and approved before men. People will approve you. People will accept you. People will, will, will say, ah, we were waiting you to come here. It's you who we were waiting. Because this is year of acceptance. You will be approved by men and accepted by God. This is your time. Amen. God will put you in his season so you can be blessed in this season. The second thing that God will approve to you, accept, is your offering. Your offering will be acceptable. Acceptable offering. Acceptable offering, it's a, kind of offering of, it's a kind of offering to help God's servants in their needs and to achieve God's mission. When we see Paul in Philippi, Macedonia, he was in a mission trip doing work of God day and night. So people collected some offering to him. And this offering was accepted before God because it was working for God's mission. Philippians 4.18 the Bible said that indeed I have all and abound. I am full having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you was like a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, an acceptable offering, well-pleasing to God. When they offered it to Paul, that offering was like a sweet aroma, smelling very good in the presence of God. So whatever you give, whatever you offer, you t whatever you contribute in the church, in the ministry, in the mission, that offering is acceptable before God. It looks like a sweet smelling aroma before God. So if God can approve your offering, he will approve also your ways. He approve also your family. He will approve also your work, your strength, your mind, because you did great things. If he can approve your offering, he will approve even your marriage. He will help you to succeed in everything you do. Praise the Lord. Acceptable offerings. It's an offering that comes in the church on the altar of God. When we give offering, when we come to the church and we give offering, God automatically accept, agree that offering. When God agree, accept your offering, he opened the door for you. Isaiah 
56 verse 7, the Bible say, Even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. So their sacrifices and their bond offering will be accepted on his altar. When you give your offering to the altar, it is acceptable before God. Because you are doing this to advance the house of prayer for all nations. Many people, many lives are touched because of your offering. Because what you are doing. You are tithed, you are offering, you are generosity, you are act of generosity to help people. This is a sweet smelling aroma before God. Whatever you do, whatever you give, you sacrifice yourselves, God is blessing you. Praise the Lord. You see, in Ezekiel of 20, 40, 41, we have the same, the same verses where, where God He's speaking about his holy mountain. He said, for on my holy mountain, on the mountain head of Israel, said the Lord of God, they are all the house of Israel. All of them in the land shall serve me. They will serve God in the church. A holy mountain means the church, the temple of God. When the Bible say holy mountain, the, 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 the dwelling place of God, it, it says about the church, a temple. So everyone must have a holy mountain, must, must have a church. Th that's a wish of God. That's a will of God. That everyone can have somewhere to fellowship, somewhere to uh, on holy mountain, where God will release his blessing toward his people. Because the blessings of God have a, his way to do. God sends his blessing to from the church, from heaven to the church. Then he displays those blessings to the people. So there is a way, there is a, fa a place where you need to be to receive God's blessings. If you want to have a shoes, you, 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 you must go to the store. If you, you need to have something, there is a place for everything. So the blessing of God, we found them in the church. The church is called a mountain of God, a holy mountain. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says, for on my holy mountain, on the mountain height of Israel, say the Lord God, there, all the house of Israel, all of them in the land shall serve me. Every Christian, every member of the church must serve God. There are we accepted them. When you come, we come to the church, when we, we become like offering, God will accept us. And there, I will require your offerings. And the first fruits of your sacrifice. So when we come to the church, God wants us to give. He requires us to give offering. That's, that's his, his word. From there, I will require you offerings and the first fruits of your sacrifice together with all your holy things. 41, I will accept you as a sweet aroma. Praise the Lord. I will accept you as a sweet aroma. When I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will be hallowed in you before the Gentiles. Praise the Lord. So there is a promise of God to bring you out, to, to bring you in from out. God will bring you in from out, and he will bless you. Amen? So acceptable offering is... Not for the, the chosen people only, because the Christian themselves, they are, their bodies are offerings. So there's other people called the unchurched people or unsaved people. People who don't have church, who don't uh, have salvation. The, the Bible has also promised for them that they will be saved and become acceptable to God. God will accept them. God will be with them. God will bless them. Romans 15, 16, the Bible says that I might be a minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. The word, word Gentiles means people who are not Jewish. This means the, the Greek people or 
in, in other words, the unbelie- uh, people who, 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 who are not the believers. So the Gentiles are people who are not saved, who are not a Christian, who, who don't know Jesus. So that I might be a minister of Jesus Christ to the people who don't know Jesus. Gentiles. Ministering the gospel of God. That the offering of the Gentiles might be acceptable. For them to be dedicated to God. These people who don't have a church, who don't know Jesus, who don't have uh, even uh, uh, feed the love of Jesus. Also, we will bring them, then they will be acceptable. uh, They will be accepted before the Lord. They will be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. The Bible said that the people will come and will be like offering. You see, this is time to tell people about the love of God. When we tell them about the love of God, then they come to close relationship with D- Jesus. They have church. Also, they become acceptable, accepted before Lord. They will be accepted when you will bring them in. They are out. They need to belong somewhere. They need to have a church. They need to be somewhere. So they need to be approved, to be accepted by the Lord. Amen? So our task as uh, Apostle Paul is to go to the Gentiles, to those people who don't know Jesus, to bring them in the, the communion fellowship with Jesus. Praise the Lord. God will not accept only your offering, but he will accept also your prayer. Your prayer will be accepted. Sometimes you pray and don't have answer. And sometimes you quit. You say, okay, I have praying, praying, praying. Uh, I prayed for this, but nothing happened. But listen, God answers our prayer. Don't quit. Don't give up. God is there. God will answer your prayer. God, we understand you. We be with you. So acceptable prayer. We we will be accepted and answered by our God. Our prayers will be accepted by God. And he will answer. Acts 10.4. Bible says, Acts 10.4. And when he observed him, he was afraid. This is Cornelius. And said, what is it, Lord? So he said to him, your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before God. Your prayers and your arms. Arms, it's offering to give to the poor people. Charity, generosity to the poor people. It, they call the arms. Arms means the, the money you give to the poor people. So Cornelius, God said, your prayers and the money and the, 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 the things you give to the poor people came to the memo, memory of God. He remembered you. He accepts your offering and your prayer. So when we pray, God listen, God hears and answers. Praise the Lord. He is here to listen to your prayer. This is a season of acceptance. He will accept your prayer. Just go and pray. The Bible says that if you dwell in me and I abide in you, whatever you pray, I will answer. If you are with me, I'm with you. Whatever you say, I will give you. So, to be accepted is to be with God. So every prayer we have, every offering we give, God listens, accepts, and blesses us. Our words and the meditation also will be accepted. When we say words in the meditation, we say all we speak, all we, we, we pray. All our thinking, all our wishes will be accepted by God. God will accept your even meditation, your words, your thoughts.
God is here to accept you. Psalm 19.14 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord. You are my strength and my redeemer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. God is here to accept your word, to favor even your thinking. When we think about and we pray about it, God will help and God will answer. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He will hear our spiritual sacrifices. Our scriptures, spiritual sacrifices means time we give to God, time we give to church, Bible study, choir practices, home sales, where we go with fellowship, work we do, helping others in the church. All those are called the spiritual sacrifices. When we give our time to practice, to go, to help, to fix families, to bless people, to bless all those kind of activities doing for God. The, the, in, in the Bible, they call it spiritual sacrifices. All those spiritual sacrifices will be accepted before God and before man. Praise the Lord. And uh, the book of uh, the, f the first book of Peter 2.5, the Bible says, You also, as a living stone and a being built up, a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. All your spiritual sacrifices will be accepted to God through Jesus. Because whatever you do, your contribution, your participation, your time, your talent, your service will be accepted before the Lord. And he, he, he will bless you and reward you. Amen? God will also honor your testimony. He will accept your testimony. Not only your prayer, but also your testimony. You see, sometimes you can give testimony and the people don't believe. But your testimony will be accepted. Will be believed. People will believe your testimony. In the Bible, it requires two men to testify that your testimony is true. But here, God, we help you. You will not need two people or three people to testify that you are correct. God will vindicate you. God will justify you. God will, will your testimony will touch people. And people will bless you. you will, they will believe. Amen? Second Thessalonians 1.10, the Bible says that when he comes in that day, to be glorified in his sense and to be admired among all those who believe because, 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 because our, our testimony among you was believed. Your testimony will be believed. The people will believe your testimony this month. That's a reward from God. They will believe your testimony. Praise the Lord. Because our testimony among you was believed. Maybe people know that you, sometimes you lie. But God will justify you. <laughs> you will have a testimony. They will believe in your testimony. They say, okay, let us believe now. Praise the Lord. Your, your testimony will be believed by people. Also, God... Uh, you remember the, 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 the lady, the lady, Samaritan woman. You remember the Samaritan woman in John 4. So John 4.39, actually the lady was not, 
was not, uh, had not a good reputation in the city of Samaria. So when she gave testimony, people, they knew that she, she was not uh, 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 reliable, high information, and uh, she was not a trustworthy. But this time, the testimony of the lady was believed. John 4.39, Bible say, many of Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. What did she say? He told me all that I ever did. People believed. This time, people believed that she was true. So despite your condition, spiritual condition, despite your lifestyle, people will believe you. People will believe your testimony. Your testimony will be acceptable. Wherever you go, whatever you say, people will believe. That, that's a reward from God. You see, to say something and the people believe you without verifying, they will trust you without verifying because God is with you. He will put that trust in their heart to believe you. When you speak, people will believe you. Receive that anointing. Amen. God will testify about you. Himself, he will testify. He will be there to witness about you. He witnessed David according to Acts 30, 13, 22. Acts 13, 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up from them David as a king to whom also he did what? He gave testimony. Who gave testimony to David? God himself. He gave testimony and said, I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. May God testify about you. May the Lord give testimony. Oh, praise the Lord. He will not testify about you. you are, your testimony will not be only accepted, but also your exaltation, your promotion. Your promotion, God will accept. We approve. God will favor your exaltation. There is promotion that is coming. God will promote you to another level. Amen? God will promote your work. God will promote your finance. God will promote your life. Praise the Lord. Exaltation is coming, and God will accept it. He will put a seal of approval on your exaltation. Actually, it's God who promotes and his promotion cannot be demoted. God will promote you. No one can demote when God promotes you. And he's going to promote you. No one will demote you. God will promote your life, your job, your career. Psalm 75, 6, 7, the Bible says, for exaltation comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but God is the judge. He puts down one, he exalts another. God, we <laughs> your promotions will come not from east, north, south, no, from himself. He's able. To put some down, to demote some people, and to exalt you. Remember just Haman and Mordecai. One was demoted, another was promoted. That's how God works. First Samuel 2.7, the Bible says that he sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. He can put some people down. And exalt others. But remember, you are not in the people who will be demoted, but promoted. He will exalt you. He will put you high. You will go high. 
May the Lord make, make you high. Make you to rise. Praise the Lord. Amen. You will not be promoted only, but your name will be accepted. Your name will be accepted. God, we value your name. You see, when your name is favored, is accepted, your reputation goes high. When we speak about name, here we speak about reputation, honor. Proverbs 22, 1, the Bible says, A good name is to be chosen rather than a great riches. If you have a good name, you, you are above riches. Good name. Is great than riches. A good name means a good reputation. Good reputation. God will bring back your reputation. God will bless you. Praise the Lord. Ecclesiastes 7 1. A good reputation is more valuable than the most expensive perfume. Good reputation is more valuable than the most expensive perfume. Actually, when you have expensive perfume, everyone smells it. So, mm, this is good perfume. The same way, when you have a good name, you smell everywhere. Your smell, your good aroma is everywhere because your name. People can tarnish your name, but God is here to restore your name. People can break your name, damage your name, but God can restore your name. Praise the Lord. In this time of acceptance, God will restore your name, your reputation. God will make your name to become great and honorable. You remember the history of Jabez. First Chronicles 4, 9, 10. Remember Jabez in the Bible. First Chronicles 4, 9, 10. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez because I bore him in pain. Jabez meaning pain, sufferings, problem, depression. That's the meaning of Jabez. Everywhere he, will, he was going, people, oh, the pain man is coming. The, the, the guy who has a problem is coming. But Jabez said, Lord, you need to change my destiny. You need to change my, 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 my name. So, and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand will be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. Wherever he was, he was going, he was causing pain. He said, Lord, help me. So God granted him what he requested. So the first sentence say, he was more honorable than his brother. God extended his territory. God enlarged in te his tent because he prayed. And his name was no longer evil name, but a blessed name. Everyone was going to call his son Jabez, Jabez, Jabez. Because they saw God blessing him. God's blessing was upon him. God will make your name to become valuable, profitable to many people. When people just say, speak about your name, the door will open. Do you know him? Oh, come please. That God wants to promote your name. I understand that you don't understand this, but, but your name will be exalted. God will promote your name. 
Maybe you think people, they don't notice about you. If so, God will change things. God wants to touch people now to notice about you. Your name will be great. You see, there is a guy called Onesimus in the Bible. In the book of Philemon, Philemon chapter 1, 10, 11, the Bible says, I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, whom I have begotten while in my chains, who once was unprofitable to you, but now, but now is profitable to you and to me. The, the name Onesimus meant no value. But now Paul is recommending him to Philemon. Say, Philemon, I know that he was unprofitable to you. But now God has caused his name to be valuable. He will be profitable to you and to me as well. Praise the Lord. So your name will be of great value. God will give you a new name. Are you ready to receive a new name? He will name you himself. He will name you. Isaiah 60, 62, 2. The Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all king your glory. You shall be called by new name. You shall be called by new name. Which the mouth of the Lord will name. Himself he will name you. He will give you an everlasting name. This name will remain forever. Everlasting name. According to Isaiah 56, 5. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Your name will remain. No one will be able to remove it. No one will remove your name. Your name will be between you and your God. No one will cheat your name. No one will come and have your name. You will have your only name given by God. You and God you will know that name. This is a secret, a name of love between you and love. You see two lovers, they have a small name, a nickname they give, you see. So you and God, you will have your own name. That's a favor from God. Praise the Lord. Revelation 2.17. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat. And I will give him a white stone. And on this stone, a new name written, which no one knows, except him who receives it. Praise the Lord. God will give you a new name, a new identity. Wherever you go, people, they will no longer see you as the, the former person. They will see you as a new person. For, to conclude my sermon, this month is a month of acceptance. God will accept your time. Top 10. Your time. He will accept your offering. He will accept your prayer. He will accept your testimony. He will accept your exaltation. He will accept your name. Just is easy, I think, is easy to memorize. Acceptable time, acceptable offering, acceptable prayer, acceptable testimony, acceptable exhortation, acceptable name. May the Lord bless you. Rise up and pray together. You can, even your prayer, when you go to pray, just pray in these six acceptance. Say, Lord, accept my time, my offering, my prayer, my testimony, exaltation, and my name. Just pray through all this month. Pray about this.
and you will see the difference in your life. Lord, I pray for these people. Accept their time. Accept their offering. Accept their prayers. Accept their testimony. Accept their exhortation, their promotion. And accept their need. Favor them, Lord. And let them be approved by men, by people. Whatever they do, wherever they go, let your aroma be a smelling before you. You can smell them. You can smell their time. Smell their offering. Smell their prayer. Smell their testimony. Lord, smell their promotion, exaltation, and smell their name so they may have favor every day, every morning, every noon, every evening, every night before you. Be with them. Bless them. Bless their families. Bless their couples. Bless their homes. Continue to be with them. I pray in the name of Jesus.